it is the start of the Molly week. And then we have tomorrow. But uh, anyway, it is the start of the week. Hello, my beautiful, lovely people. Um, we are making some chicken and, and uh, I was going to say anchovies. No, no, no. Artichoke. A chicken artichoke bake um, that we were linked in um, uh, in Discord by Liz Lemon or Limping Lemon. Um, so I just saw it and I loved it and I was going to steal it. So we're going to do my own version. Um, and it's like baked chicken with artichokes, with olives. Uh, Exceed, you don't have to eat the olives, I promise. Uh, with some lemon, it's gonna be so, so flavorful. Uh, and then we're gonna go into making some cupcakes because it's my last day of work tomorrow. Oh my God, where is this time gone? Do you guys remember when I was starting this job? Oh, crazy. So we're moving back to Western Australia uh, next week and I got some cool news to tell you. So before we go into that, let's go back to the last time on. There we go. So this is our amazing spice glazed chicken. So we did a Chinese five spice uh, glaze and then we roasted the chicken and it was so, so good. Um, my only thing is that I would have kind of like marinated for longer maybe or injected the, that beautiful five spice into the chicken more. It was like, the flavor was on the, um, the skin, but kind of didn't penetrate it. So I don't know, we have to work on that, I think. But it was very tasty. Uh, we did a cauliflower uh, um, leek bake. We used, uh, so this is it, the cauliflower bake. bake. Ooh, it's like a polenta, but uh, so, so good. Even Exceed said it was good. And it was all veggies and some cheese. And then we did a Thai coconut pumpkin soup as well. Um, and then we fried some bread and some crunchy bread. And we received 10 follows, subs, and some hosts as well. So it was a lovely chill that stream for Sunday slowdown. All right, so bring that chat up. I want to see everyone. God, my head is hurting because I've not been really drinking much. Hey, Macarena. Hello. Hey, Strip. Hey, Strip. Fancy seeing you here. Chizu, thank you for that host. Uh, Tamsin, hello. Hello, how are you? Yaksha, hello. Oh my gosh. Cat, Exceed, who have I missed? April, April, April. Hello, everybody. Molly's pump up some. Can't stop the feeling. That one piece of hair. This one, this one, like here. My mum, my mum calls that um, a, um, a cock, uh, like a, a cockatoo. Your hair sticks up like that. And like a cocky. That's what she calls it. Sticks up like a cocky. Like a cockatoo. Okay. Whew. Damn. The cowlick. Oh, you mean this bit? This is a cowlick here. Like, I have this, like, little bit of hair that, like, comes down. It's like a fringe bit, but it's really annoying. See, my hairline is so screwed. It's all jagged. I don't care. That's me. I'm special. Um, so we're going to be making some chocolate cupcakes and we're going to top them with some different colored frosting and some sprinkles, but I thought I'd leave it up to you with a filling. So I thought we could do some salted caramel filling, um, maybe some peanut butter filling as well, because peanut butter and chocolate's my fav. Um, and I don't know. What do you think? A peacock. Uh, so do you guys remember these? Oh, this one feels like a new one, Exceed. Oh, this bet. Oh my God. Oh my god, I think this one's a Vegemite. It's round. Okay, so these, let's do this one last. So these are little things that have, um, our grocery store has started bringing in and they're like collectible stuff, right? So they're grocery items made mini. So they're called Little Shop and they're all collectible. And I'm hoping, um, if strip, um, I strip for donuts and I were talking about it last night that we think they release new ones each week. So I'm hoping that I get all new ones. So this is finished. These are power balls that you put in the, um, the dishwasher, like dishwashing tablets. Potato gems are, uh, what did we discuss? We said they're like, um, what are those things? What do you guys, potato nuggets? No, what are they called? What are they called? Exceed, what, Dimru's told me the name. Um, they're like little potato. Hey, Tamsin. What are these? In the, what do the US call the tater tots? That's it. Um, we got some bananas. 
bananas. Some sunbat. These are like crisp bread, I think. These are the ones we opened last week. Yep. So Tim Tams, chocolate biscuits, and power. I'm just just reintroducing people to them. Power clean. And so now we have four more from this week's shop. So I think that one's the Vegemite that I've been wanting. Because this is in the Down Under box that we're giving away this week, everybody. So if you haven't joined the, uh, the giveaway, make sure you join it. Because we're giving it away this weekend. That finish is uh, dishwasher cleaner in Finland. Ah, oh, cool. Very cool. Oh, this one's new. I, I, I think I can guess this one by feeling it. I reckon this is like a Windex bottle. Like a, a shower clean. Like, you know, the... Spray and wipe. Yes! Oh no, it's dead all! Oh my god! It's like a little hand wash. You press this. Oh, you forgot the name last week of Tater Tots. I did. Yeah. Look at that. Dead all. Dead all. Antiseptic. This is so cute. Oh my god! And then this one here. Let me think. Alright, it's square. It's just a box. I don't know what that one is. No idea. It's just a box. It's hard to distinguish. With that, you could at least feel something. Oh, it's green. It's black tea. Oh, look. Ah! Lipton black tea. Very simple, plain box. Oh my god, it has all the dietary requirements and everything on it. Black tea, ingredients black tea, packed in the United Arab Emirates uh, from imported teas. Oh my gosh, it's like the full box. That is the cutest. Imagine if it had tea in it, that would be cool. Nope, there's sponge in it. It's love time. There we go, okay. Now we have two more. They're, oh my God, they're all different. Ready? You guys can look at them. Okay, we got two more. So this one here, I reckon this one's Wheat Bix because it, it's a box as well. So it is Wheat Bix. So Weetabix or Wheat Bix or Vita Wheats uh, are very similar. So it's literally rolled wheat squished into a bar. That's all it is, wheat. Um, so can you see that? It's a breakfast cereal. And look, it's a family pack. Your theory is real, definitely. And then I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is Vegemite, please. But it's really big though. It's like a, are they supposed to be like proportionate? You have water bags? Oh, it's Milo! Oh, oh my god! So at least Milo and Tim Tams are both in the down under box. The Tim Tam, the Milo isn't as good because it doesn't have the dietary requirements. It's just a plain sticker. Whereas this, it, oh wow, even in the nooks and crannies here, it's got the wrapping. Oh wow, that is so cool. The detail in this, guys. So this is a malted milk, um, malted, blah, 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 malted milk drink. It's like a chocolate drink. Oh my gosh, so cool. So we're gonna recreate these on our giveaway stream on Sunday. We're gonna recreate these and do um, our own version of Tim Tams chocolate. They're like a chocolate biscuit with a cream layer and then another chocolate biscuit and then that's all covered in chocolate as well. Um, and then we're also gonna do Anzac biscuits. So two of the items that are in the down under box. A little Milo. He's so cute. Who knew that this would be so popular? You can't take the lid off though, that's a bit sucky. So White King, so how many have we got now? Two, four, six, eight, ten. And how many are there in total? Do we know? Do we know how many there are in total? Because I'm missing the, uh, the Vegemite. That's maybe the only one I've seen. On a, is there spray and wipe? What are we missing? The bananas are pretty sucky. No one really wants fruit. You have 22. Oh, wow. Four, six, eight. So I've, I've got 20 more to go. Oh my gosh, exceed. Strip, that means you spent so much money at the grocery store. So, Coles. That's the, the supermarket. Alright, enough of this bingo bongo. Let's get into some cooking. Uh, if you open the little... Oh, this thing. Oh, that would be a smart idea. Look. Oh, it tells you. Oh, nice. So, we don't have... We have the tea. We don't have the nappies. We've got the wheat bix. We've got the sun bites. We've got the power clean. We've got the finished tablets. We don't have the bottle of water or the... 
laundry detergent, or the toothpaste, or the eggs. We got the potato gems. Oh my god, we're missing so many. This is so cool. Wow, look how many different things. Grocery items, guys. They're they're like collectibles, yeah. And that you you can buy a pack like a, a, a folder for them to they stick into. Oh wow, and there's accessories. So you can buy the uh, this here is the booklet that it's it's quite big, and then they all have a slot that they sit in. There's a I think this is a mini grocery basket. Um, a an apron, a shopping trolley, and then this here it looks like it's a mini shop, like maybe a like a grocery store. <laughs> They're going for thousands on eBay. What? Except we need to spend more money at the grocery store. God of Raw, we're just discussing these little collectible mini things that are available at our grocery store at the moment. So I've got, this is Milo. We've got Tim Tams, bananas, mini collectible tea. Uh, this is detergent, hand detergent, <laughs> biscuits, dishwashing powder, tater tots or potato gems, toilet cleaner, and wheat mix. So we're collecting them. I better not lose them when we're in the move. They're gonna go in this little container because this is my warhead container because we don't have any warheads left. Are they Pokemons? <laughs> All right. Whew. Okay, so oven needs to go on. We're gonna make some cupcakes first. My favorite, favorite, favorite chocolate cake recipe. How are you, God of Raw? Oh, I've got a bit of a headache. My head's a bit sore. Need some water, first and foremost. So we've got this, um, it's on about 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, I think. I always forget the conversion. You'd think I'd remember after a year and a half. Okay. So, ingredients. I want two bowls. I'm going to do wet and dry. So dry ingredients first. You're going to use... Dum -da -dum. And that's a bit high up. Okay. Whoa! Alright, in here you want two cups of sugar. Uh, and this is an amazing like, full cake. But then I'm just making cupcakes out of it. And then we're gonna serve it with a, a Swiss meringue buttercream that is to die for. It's Swiss meringue buttercream is great because it it's not too sweet. Even though it says meringue in it, people freak out and they think, oh my god, like it's gonna be overly sweet. But I find that American buttercream is too sweet. Uh, it's just icing sugar and butter, um, mainly, and it's just quite sickly, whereas this, you can eat a lot of. That's one cup of sugar. And you're looking at, it makes about one to two cakes, and then probably about, I think it made 12, 18 to 20 cupcakes. So we'll, sugar in here. So how's everyone's week so far? What's happening? I'm not gonna lie, I instantly spotted you from your scarf yesterday, Molly. Really? Oh my gosh. Were you in the window? Because I, like, I, I was not really concentrating, but then I, I think I saw you and George, right? His name's George. So we did meet, we met, I stripped for donuts last night. Um, he invited us to the place that he works, the donut place, it's called Daniel's Donuts. Super cool to have the most amazing array of donuts. Um, so strip, we got, we, we got home last night. So we had six donuts and I wasn't allowed to eat them in the car. So we were talking as we were walking back to the car. It was like you're not going to eat them in the car. I was like, what? 
So then I had to drive half an hour home and couldn't touch a cupcake, which I was a bit devo about. Um, and then I did my Miss Molly Minute, if you haven't seen it, my uh, food review. I kind of didn't do an in-depth food review. I should have done it a little bit more and told you more about the cupcake. But I got it all over my face, so I was trying to like stop the talking and finish the eating. Um, but we got two jam and cream donuts because we had one each. Then we got a Nutella filled donut with glaze. Another Nutella filled donut with peanut butter and chocolate on it as well. Um, and then a jam filled donut and an original. Yeah, so there were six all together. So we ate three donuts last night while we were watching Lord of the Rings. And oh my gosh, did I wake up this morning feeling a bit blah because we haven't like carbs. Like following a lot of keto recipes, having donuts. They were really light and easy to eat and then probably like an hour after you ate them, you're like, oh my God. So, but they were good, amazing. So happy, so happy. So in here, two cups of sugar and then I'm doing one and three quarter cups of flour. And this donut place runs 24 seven. Just couldn't believe it. I was so busy all the time. It's like Krispy Kreme's but better, in my opinion, because I like plain donuts. Like a, if I was gonna go to Krispy Kreme, for instance, I don't eat the filled ones. I only eat, like I, we barely, I don't remember the last time I had a Krispy Kreme, but I would just eat the original ones because they're just plain and simple. Um, Whereas these ones were nice, like old school jam and cream, which is really good. Okay, back to this. So two cups of flour, um, two cups of sugar, one and three quarter cups of flour. We're gonna add three quarter of a cup of um, cocoa. Oh, this is what I found out that I did. Oh, my sifter. So always remember to sift your cocoa. Started to try and do fasting and keto this week. <gasps> Tamsin, you promise you, promise you, promise you, like the keto recipes are so flavorful and they make you feel like really hung up, uh, really full as well. April! Double nothing. All right, my girl, Let's get you going in two seconds. I just need to fill this while I'm doing it. Um, I want to start following a little bit more strict um, once we get home, uh, when we get to our new house. Speaking of new house, we I have found the most amazing house, guys. So we need to, um, we're going to get uh, our one of the family members back home uh, to check it out for us on, on Monday next week. And then cross your fingers, pray because it is the most amazing house. It has the most amazing stream worthy kitchen. It has this huge bench um, and it's just beautiful. It has a big backyard for the dogs. It has really good internet and it has air conditioning for exceed. So everybody's happy. So put your fingers together and pray that we get it because I'm just super excited and I've been stressed. Um, this is one of my last chances to challenge you at double or nothing in this house. <gasps> April, we've got a week. We've got a week. Um, but no joke, like I have been had this churning feeling in my stomach that we wouldn't find a house. But this house isn't available for um, maybe a week and a half once we get to, um, to Perth. So we're going to have to put our, um, our stuff in, uh, in storage for a week. You're planning to move? What? Tamsin, yes. Yep. We are. So this giveaway this weekend is our last stream in this kitchen because we're moving back to Western Australia so that we can focus more on streaming. 
So Exceed's going to be working from home with the same company, and then I don't have a job yet. Um, so tomorrow's my last day, that's where I'm making cupcakes. Um, and then we're just going to focus more on streaming, we're going to be closer to family, we're going to get a bigger, better stream-worthy house with a, like a, a better sized kitchen, because I've always never been 100% happy with this kitchen. Um, so we've got like the same setup with that from the old house where you have the bench and then you have the stove behind me so then I can turn and you'll visit me. Of course, we love Melbourne and I used to come to Melbourne at least once a year when I um, with my mum for business, once or twice a year. Um, so we'll definitely be back and there's like conventions and stuff so we'll be back. But it just means better content for you guys. Uh, you know, we can stream more often for longer periods of time. Um, the dogs will have more space. Uh, we'll be closer to our family. So it's win, 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 win. So I'm excited. So make sure you're joining the giveaway. Uh, you know, the, the first prize is a down in the box, which is Australian food that we're going to recreate on the giveaway day on Sunday. So we're making homemade Tim Tams, we're making Anzac biscuits, and we're doing a slow cooked um, pork shoulder, which is delicious. Um, and then uh, there's four other prizes of cookies as well, chocolate -choc cookies from New Zealand. So if you are an Aussie and you don't want to enter because of the down under box, we can send it to someone else on your behalf or you can get free food. It's up to you. So let's go to basketball. two of those mini Nutellas, one is a keepsake and one for a giveaway. Oh, strip, I'm sorry. Um, maybe I'll buy a $50 iTunes card and put that in the giveaway. You don't need to do that. Thank you for the thought. Oh my gosh. You totally had your finger, fingers open. My fingers open? Bear, thank you very much. I beat you, Molly. What do you mean? I will beat you, Molly. Oh, sorry. I read it wrong. Are those green screens? I'm just playing though. Uh, they are green screens. So, we have one here and one here. But this is our last week in this kitchen. So, we're moving house. We've got a whole new stream set up planned. Well, we have, we're hoping that we get this house. And then we, um, we're going to change the green screens. We're going to make a better kitchen, a better stream set up. We're going to upgrade our camera. Um, it's going to be very, very exciting. So, if you haven't joined our giveaway, it is drawn this weekend, this Sunday. We're doing a last stream in the kitchen. Uh, we're giving a down under box, a bigger kitchen, a little bit different shaped kitchen. Um, it's not really bigger, it's more like different shaped. Um, yeah. So we're doing a giveaway this weekend. If you haven't joined, it is free to enter. And because of the time zone suck, 
you don't have to be here for I will just get in contact with you first prize is a box of uh, Australian goodies from down under box so this is what you can receive so it is a huge box full of it's just it's so much stuff in here but it's well well packed Tim Tams so Australian cookies chocolate chip uh, chocolate cookies twisties Vegemite all this amazing food um, and then it will be shipped to wherever you are in the world uh, if you're an Aussie you can uh, get it shipped to someone else like a family friend um, family or friend or you can just get free food um, and then there's also four other winners that are getting uh, chopped chip cookies all the way through oh! Vegemite is amazing. Yeah, Vegemite is so good. Hello. What are you doing, Chess? Yeah, we'll send it to wherever you are in the world. It doesn't matter if you're in the US, if you're in the UK, Europe, wherever you are, we'll send it your way. Um, and then there's four people that will go home with choc chip cookie packs, um, complete with some choc chip cookies from New Zealand, um, and then also some, uh, some treats from us as well. So make sure you enter and make sure you share it. Let's get back into these cupcakes. So in here, flour, cocoa, sugar. Uh, what else? We're gonna do some baking. Ooh. Baking soda. So we want two teaspoons of baking soda. Chester is getting chubby. No, Chester um, is getting fluffy. He actually um, doesn't have a lot of meat on him. He's just getting really fluffy. So I've been eating, like feeding him. I've not been eating him. I've been feeding him two to three times a day because he's just so skinny underneath all that fur. Okay, so two teaspoons of baking soda, one of baking powder. There we go. And then we're going to add some salt. Okay, now the wet ingredients is here. So we want to add eggs. So crack your eggs on a flat surface because then it'll Makes so much easier opening. Anyway, a less chance of getting eggshell. There we go. Two eggs. What else do we want in here? Uh, we want some milk. I need to make some some coffee up. Some strong black coffee. You can brew it, or I'm just going to use um, coffee powder. Imagine being tired and putting pepper instead of salt. <gasps> I wouldn't, oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know, you wouldn't really get a taste it. Okay. And I'm gonna create some buttermilk. So basically, buttermilk you can buy. Um, however, it's a little bit more expensive. So buttermilk is the byproduct of making butter. Um, it's that, that milky kind of, um, byproduct you can make it it has like a sour flavor uh, just get milk and then add some lemon juice or some vinegar so that it starts to kind of coagulate and then what it does is it, it adds this amazing texture um, and it really reacts nicely it adds more of a, um, a, a greater reaction with the baking soda and baking powder to add more of a fluff inside your cake um, so I really really recommend it if you don't have it you don't need it um, just use regular milk but I buy rather than buy it, it's expensive I use um, uh, 
cream, uh, milk, and then some lemon juice. Shake heavy whipping cream and it turns into butter. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's what room temperature cream. Um. Okay. So in here, you want one cup. So we'll just get some one cup of milk or just under one cup. There we go. And then I'm just gonna get some lemon juice. This, this is a squeezy bottle, or you can just use whatever you've got. And then you wanna let that sit for like a minute or two and that will start to coagulate. Just, it's not bad, like it's nothing bad. It's just the proteins are coagulating. Uh, buttermilk is a staple here in Mississippi. Yeah, it would be for that amazing uh, fried chicken and like everything. A lot of things are soaked in buttermilk. Buttermilk waffles as well. It just it just heightens the flavor, I think. Um, now what am I trying to find? I never tried buttermilk chicken, but I hear it's really tasty. Yeah, so cute. Chicken and some buttermilk. Just trying to find a. Da -da -da. This is okay. So, while that does its thing, I'm going to pour that into another jug. So, I've got my eggs, I've got my buttermilk, and then I'm going to create some coffee. So, coffee and chocolate, some people go, ooh, weird. But it actually, you won't really taste the, the coffee flavor, it, but it really heightens that chocolatey indulgence. So I really recommend it when making a chocolate cake like this, but you can always omit it if you don't want it, and then just add more milk. So I like it quite strong. This is espresso um, coffee powder. Where on earth did you get the Minions Cup? It looks like you got it from the cinema. I got it from a, a the Royal Show. Well, Exceed actually got it for me, actually. Um, uh, I got it from a show bag. Uh, it's just a cup of milk, right? I just forget, yeah. We actually, uh, I don't know if we still have them. We had some really big cinema Star Wars cups, um, but I think, I think they get thrown out after a while. So that's a cup of coffee, some milk, some eggs. Now we get a whisk. Can I get a whisk whisk? Oh gosh, where's my whisk? Here we go. So firstly, what you want to do is just whisk this just to combine it all. do those cups they're quite cool um, I think we saw a Deadpool and we were gonna get a Deadpool one but I think that it's we don't really use them and we have enough cups as it is all right so eggs I'm gonna mix the eggs in here with the milk and then we're just gonna mix that together usually I combine it all the reason I'm not is because I um, to make the coffee I used all the hot water where I usually use like a small amount of hot water and then the rest cold. And what that does is um, it's at a lower temperature and I don't want it to scramble the eggs. Okay, so this recipe, it will create a really um, thin batter. Don't be afraid, don't be worried. to combine everything by using a whisk you prevent I'm not gonna say it's not gonna happen but you reduce the chance of getting any lumps uh, if you do just whisk it quite hard or use less um, liquid 
and then combine it slowly until you get all of them, them out. Okay, so it's quite thick at the moment, but I haven't added that coffee, remember. And then what we'll do. Really should have let it cool. Rookie mistake, Molly, rookie mistake. We just want to stir it so it's all combined. Oh my gosh, my arm's getting sore. So it is Tuesday. I want to know something in the last two days that something in the last two days that you learnt. Something that you learnt in the last two days. Because for me, you know what I learnt this week? That, what did I learn? Let me think. I hate putting myself on the spot like this. I don't know. If you wanted to make it alcoholic, you could add Kahlua instead of coffee. Yeah, you definitely could. Um, but then you're going to bake it, so I think it's wasted. You could put Kahlua into the buttercream that we're going to make. All right, so last thing. Oh, I forgot. We have to have olive oil. So you can add vegetable oil with this. It just adds a whole amount of moisture, and it creates a really nice, beautiful cake. Um, you could add uh, vegetable oil. I like the flavor of the olive oil, it just has a nuttiness, but you can omit it if you want. Um, so that's why I'm saying it's a really thin batter. I learned that my dog's skull is very hard. He butt head butted me in the nose. Like, oh my God, oh, I've done that before. Is your nose okay? It didn't like bleed or anything. Oh my gosh. And it's like they don't feel pain either because I, was dancing around before and I hit Chester in the face like I don't like just like hit him just gently with my heel and it hit him in the face and he didn't like flinch or anything like not the dog flinch but he didn't care that's what I'm saying I learned how to make the donut dough we used the other day oh. what do you mean that you used the other day like a different type of dough This cake is so good. Um, for me, what I learned is that. Let me try and think. I was going to say something. Oh, that cake is so good. Oh, so amazing. So, like I said before, really thin. Meaning, like three days ago. But what do you mean? Like, you learned to make a dough three days. What? Oh, three days ago you learned to make the dough. I get you, okay. That makes sense. All right, I get you. I get you. I also learned about kernel density estimation. Kernel density estimation, but I assume that's something I shouldn't brag about. <laughs> so what, what, is, what is this for? Kernel density. Please, I, I'm really interested now, Macarena. I'm interested. I learned to never talk to viewers without pausing your game. Because to read chat and say hi and game flip to action sequence and I died a horrible death while running my mouth. Ah, that is something that I would do. Get too concentrating on uh, talking and then forget about the game. That's so me. I learned how to make the um, my works dough. We make the donuts. Yes, sorry, I did. I do understand that what you meant. I'm just getting a little bit confused with my own words. Okay. Um, what did I learn? So I learned that, oh, that's it. I learned that the company that we um, look for houses on, the website, doesn't have current houses. So 
even if you look at something and you think that it's up on the website, you ring in and they're like, oh no, the house has like been gone for a few weeks. They just, they don't care about keeping the, it relevant and they don't take it off. That's something that I picked up and I learned and it's making me savvier when looking for houses. Now that I've found a house, I'm happy. Um, I learned that donuts are really good when they're filled. I prefer them when they're filled. I learned that my, my dance moves have improved since I've been in Melbourne. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, I've learned that while the year, the last year and a half or yeah, year and a half have been like, have been tough. It's taught me a lot about myself and uh, the things that I want in my relationship and my life and with, oh sorry, my, all my relationships and my life and where I want to take streaming. Um, you know, I was walking to work today and it, it's making me more grateful for the things that I have in my life and, you know, stopping and stopping to smell the roses. If that, you know, that, that saying that people say, you know, nonchalantly, you know, stop to smell the roses. For me today, well, I was walking to work, I just stopped and I just breathed in the air, that really crisp morning air at like 6.30 in the morning. And I looked around and these beautiful trees and like pe busy people going to work. And like, it just made me so grateful for everything that I have in my life and the experience and the journey that I've been on in the last few year like years. Real question, what will you miss the most about Melbourne? Oh, I also remembered another thing. The thing that I learnt is I can make a really good coffee now, like in a co like a cappuccino machine, like a barista machine. I can make a really good coffee that I'm, I'm proud of, of and proud to serve to people. It's something that I've learnt in the last eight months when I have worked in my position. Um, we have like this awesome coffee machine and I'm very proud of my coffee because my skills have improved. The thing that I'll miss the most is I think there's always something going on and there's always activity around, which is nice. And though if you wanted to do something, you can. Like there's always something going on. If you like, you wanna go out for dinner, there's always amazing restaurants. Um, not that there isn't like back home, but it, I think that I'll, I don't know what I'll miss. I always know that I can come back though. It's not like, um, it's not like I'm leaving forever. Um, I miss I miss the cool like the cool summer. It wasn't too hot in summer over here. Not that I remember. Like it wasn't. I don't remember the. Yes, we had to sleep on the floor in the the living room underneath the air conditioner. But it's like an adventure. It was fun. Um, exceed what will you miss most? Everything you can do in Melbourne, you can do in Perth. So, I'm not too worried. I'm going to try and... I've got too many reds. So I'm just putting... You can't see what I'm doing. I always forget. So I'm just making cupcake. What do you guys call these? Do you call them cupcake pans? When I was a kid, we used to call them patty pans. So they're all different colors. Cupcake, cupcake trays, cupcake tins, whatever. What do you call them? So I'm just gonna spray them with a little bit of oil. Um, canola spray. So that they don't stick. I always have an issue with them sticking. Even though I have a really good quality ones too. Okay. Adapting to Australia's... Oh, the winter in Perth has been terrible. Definitely, definitely bad this year. Tanzan, thank you for that host. Thank you for that host, Tanzan. If you guys haven't checked out Tamsin's stream, she is a really positive, lovely streamer. Um, she
She plays a lot of Destiny. And it's just great to have someone that is, like, in our home country, so supportive of us. And, you know, just so lovely that when you go into her stream, her chat is always so lovely. Uh, so if you haven't followed her, go and check her out. Give her a... You drop her a follow. And I, I, I was saying to see the other day that how much I've seen your channel grow and how more confident you are, like streaming, and you've really come into a new level in the last in a few months. Alright. So there we go. They're gonna go in the oven. I only have one cake tin, I think. I might put a little bit more in these. They look a bit dry. I just learned I need to go to learn what we call cupcake wrappers because I truly don't know! What do you guys call them? Does anyone else have any names? I didn't see anything in chat. What do you call pup cupcake tins? Liners. You're so kinda. So my oven is really, really dirty and we have a house open tomorrow. So guess what the hell I'm gonna be doing tonight? Cupcake liners? All right, let me see. Patty pans, see? Patty pans. This is old. Like I don't remember when I bought this, it's that old. I wonder if it has an expiry date on it. Not that, pet, like, not these type of things expire, but 50 large and 50. So this has 50, like, it has two layers, but I prefer to use both because then it's, like, protecting. It looks pretty on the outside. It's silver, but then it has, like, a, a second layer. Thank you. That kind of, that means a lot. No problem. It's just the truth, my love. And... Yeah, you know, I, I just think that us girls gotta stick together. And you know, I, I just want the best for your stream and your channel. Because you know, I can see the effort that you've put into it and you continue to do so much good stuff. Okay. We call them Papalotki do Babes. That's really hard to say, I'm not even gonna. They're old enough to have the old design on the uh, plastic package. Mm. Yeah. These ones are newer, these are Wilton ones. Wilton, best brand. So expensive. Okay. Yeah. So, this, ideally you would cook this all at the same time, but we don't have, so we'll just put it aside. We don't have any. I prefer to use the, the silicon ones. Can they just pop out nicer? I don't think I have any. No. Very good shape. Okay. Sponsor us, well then. <laughs> uh, uh, nice first attempt at speaking Polish. Um, I do. We have we made Polish food on the stream once. Oh gosh, it was so good. Okay, let's go in to, we're gonna make this chicken dish. So it's gonna go in here. We're gonna bake it in the oven. So it's gonna go on the second layer, which I need to put back in the oven. Thank you for reminding me. Shit. And hopefully this one won't fall off again. So we're gonna bake these, rest them, bake the chicken, and then put more cupcakes in. Then we're gonna make the buttercream and then we're gonna pipe it. It's gonna be so good. So good. I need to go through recipes then. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll have to make Polish food again. We made Romanian um, cabbage leaves and I, like, I've been dreaming of them since, but I haven't been able to, well, I haven't really tried. I have to admit, I haven't tried, but I'd like to get the, um, or even make the, the, the cabbage leaves that have been, like, um, 
fermented. Oh, it just adds like a, a like the the sourness just adds another like another level. It's so good. Okay, so we're making lemon chicken and artichoke bake. So I have artichokes here that have been. I've never had them in a tin, but I assume they're the same as a jar. Um, so I was gonna cook them, but I think that we'll leave it till the next house to we cook these. Uh, and well, I'm gonna go have a half an hour nap. I slept probably two hours. Oh my god, strip! Go and have a nap. Oh wow. Go and sleep. Go and sleep. Good night. Okay, so. These are your artichokes in, I think they're oil. Oh, these ones aren't oil. So these artichoke cuts, and then what we're gonna do, you just break them, oh my gosh, look at that. I love artichokes. These are in, it says brine, briny, but you can usually get them in oil. Mmm. So good. Okay. How are we gonna do this? So, what you wanna do is we've got artichokes, we've got chicken thighs, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake these. And they've got skin, the skin's still on, the skin's still in, intact. So you wanna put it skin side up and these are gonna go bake and go extra crispy and crunchy. So we'll probably do four, I think. See how many we can fit. I'm gonna squeeze them in. I think we can do five. Here we go, five. Oh, we might do four. That one's a bit bigger. <laughs> Um, with uh, your kitty, have you made pork rind bread? Whoa, pork rind bread? Never done that, but we did pork rind uh, chicken strips and they are delicious. Um, I have an amazing um, keto bread recipe that we did um, like burger buns. So if you got, um, went to ruled, R-U-L-E-D dot me, it's a really great website. Really, really great website. Um, but I've never heard of pork rind bread. That sounds interesting. Um, we did, um, we've made keto crackers, keto bread before and really, really tasty. So it's literally like mozzarella, almond meal, some psyllium husk. Ani! Welcome back! Oh my god, thank you so much for that sub! Oh wow, Ani. Welcome back. How are you? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for that sub. So, so as a sub, you receive recipes uh, made on the stream, so a file of over 520 recipes. You get the new and amazing knife and fork, our sub badges. So you'll notice that Usher for Donuts and Hey Macarena have the, uh, the knife and fork. Then it progresses onto the salad, then the roast chicken, and then the dessert. So it's a progressive meal together. Thought this was a good way to come back. How are you, Oni? Are you on this um, subboard map, by the way? So, as a, as a sub, you receive all of the recipes. You get 500 molly dollars, which is that in stream currency. You get the badge, the Miss Molly Makes Emote, the M Emote, and you get your Pin in Molly Topia. So, are you on here? Where are you again, Oni? Okay. I'm gonna wash my fingers. Hey, Macarena! All oh, these cupcakes are puffing really nicely. Such a cute badge, I think. Thank you very much. We we organised them a while ago, actually, um, and we've also got some emotes ready to go when we do apply the partner. But it's good, and I'm in Australia. Perth. Oh, honey. Honey, we're moving back to Perth. So this is this weekend, this Sunday is our last stream in this kitchen. Because this weekend, because we're moving back to Perth on the Friday. Next, not this Friday, next Friday we fly out. And we're gonna have a whole new stream set up. 
we're moving so we can be closer to family um, and then we can focus more on streaming. So let's get you in Molytopia. So I've got your beautiful green pin. I'm gonna go in here with VRZT. There we go. All right. There you go, Oni. Thank you so much for that resub or sub resub, really. Um, and welcome back to Molytopia. Uh, there's your pin. You always know where you reside in our community. Oh, goodness me, that's exciting. Thank you for that sub. All right, so we've got our chicken, we've got our artichoke, and we're gonna put some mushroom. So I'm just gonna slice this up nicely. You could use button mushrooms, but I just thought these were easier, and they're cheaper. Gamer girl, how you doing? Welcome back. So, some mushrooms in there as well. So you can use button mushrooms, which will look prettier, but they all taste the same. So we're doing a chicken and artichoke bake right now. So we're doing the base ingredients, and this is going to be put in the oven. Um, you can do a base of zucchini. Oh, let's add some zucchini at the bottom. Because then that will add all of our like, veggies. You don't have to add anything else. And then you don't have to, you can eat it with rice, we can eat it with couscous. Oh, nice. Booked in, beautiful, that's exciting. Congratulations. All right, so zucchini. Um, we could do, oh, I might do, mm, I might just do slices like this. So as you're coming in to chat, guys, we're asking the, the question of the day is what is something that you learned this week? It could be like something that you learned as a task or something you learned, you know, in anything, you know? You learned a lesson, you learned how to do something. All right, I'm just gonna place the zucchini under here. This is gonna go in here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you guys can't see. Winnie the Pooh movie is banned in China. Oh, okay. So answer me this question about Winnie the Pooh. Didn't a movie come out last year about Winnie the Pooh? Is this like a sequel or how is it different? Because Margot Robbie was in a, a Winnie the Pooh movie and now I feel like there's another one come out. What's that about? Like the, the land of Christopher Robin or something or Winnie the Pooh or I don't know. What's going on there? Um... And why is it banned in China? I feel like everything's banned in China. I learned how to play a new game. Fortnite! Ah! Oh! Um, I never really I like I never really got into Fortnite. It's it's a it's a bit over Molly's head and skill level. Um, but I do like it. I do I like pref um I prefer personally the save the world mode, the campaign mode. That's really cool. Okay, so we've got mushroom, zucchini, chicken in there. And then we're gonna add an artichoke. So you wanna get maybe two or three of these. And then what I'm just gonna do is just pull some leaves off like that. Kind of push them in there, down the side. Hmm, was it, I had no idea that something came out. Yeah, there was something that came out. If you look up Margot Robbie, or I think it's the Something, the name had Christopher Robin in it. What has this Winnie the Pooh movie got to do with? Who likes Artichoke Keo? 
Um, not to use hair removal cream on your chest. Accidentally got it on my nipples. Oh no! Oh no! I um I was using it. Um, oh, I tried. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It was my mum. Uh, my mum tried to use it on her face, and it like burnt all of her face because she's got like. Like, I think it's the Mediterranean jeans or something like that. We've got really thick, uh, like, she's got very thick hair, um, like ha head hair, and then I um, inherited thick hair on my head. Um, but she's got, like, micro fluff here. And so she tried to get it off with hair removal, and, like, it didn't work. Mmm, so good. Oh, yeah! that they're all cooked. Which is broke, broken. Um, the one with Margot Robbie was Goodbye Christopher Robin. So what's the difference? Like what what what's going on? Why are they making another Winnie the Pooh movie? Are they they related? Oh. Mm. Okay. So I know it doesn't look too pretty. I should probably use a bigger jar or something, um, a bigger pot. I feel like it's overcrowded. <laughs> um, I didn't see it, the, and, um, I don't know the storylines, I just googled it. Okay. Um, Alright, mushrooms, Italian seasoning, garlic, chicken broth. Okay. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me do. Hi Molly and exceed first name change by the way. Pharaoh, oh my god. Leo Pharaoh. Oh my gosh. How am I gonna ever remember that? That's two. Infinite Pharaoh. IP. The new one is about Christopher Robin coming back to rediscover his child. Oh, okay. So then he, he said goodbye and now he's come back to rediscover his child. Love it. Okay, let's get onto that double nothing. I'm just trying to find uh, the mustard. Whole grain mustard. This, this was going to be a lot less full than I thought. Uh, a lot fuller than I thought. I think it will still look pretty. This, everything will wilt down and it will shrink. I promise. I promise. It will look good. I shouldn't eat that because there's raw chicken. But, um, okay. Anyway. What I'm gonna do is make up some chicken stock. So I just want chicken stock powder and you could do some white wine. Like this would be really, really nice, but I don't have any. Oh, I do actually. That's a lie, Molly. Sorry, I'm just over here talking to myself like a crazy person. Um, okay, Google. Add chicken stock to my shopping list. Okay, I've added chicken stock to your shopping list. Okay. Oh, that's what I want it. I'm gonna add some paprika. Um. 
So, oh, the camera's bugged out. Okay. Bit of white one. Rip cam. Um, anyway, it's banned in China because its leader apparently looks a lot like Winnie the Pooh. And he's sensitive about it. John Oliver did an episode. Really? Oh my gosh, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Okay. Are you going to do my double or nothing? Yeah. I'll get there. Of course. We'll get there. Alright. GYNT boys out. Hello. Welcome to Smelly Makes. Infinite Ferret minus. How did. What? Oh, okay. Exceed has transferred Leo Faro $7,295 million. So Leo Faro changed their name from Infinite Faro to Leo Faro. So how come the, the name change? G Y N T. How can I can I call you something else, or I'm just gonna call you Boiza? Welcome to Miss Molly Makes. All right, so we're gonna add some more tins. 
So if you're coming in and you haven't joined our giveaway, make sure you do it because it is our last stream in this kitchen uh, on the weekend. Uh, as we are moving house, we're giving away boxes, uh, a box of Australian food, um, as well as one winner will go home with a box of Australian food and be sent to wherever you are in the world. And then there's also four winners that will have cookies, chocolate chip cookies sent all the way to wherever they are as well. Chocolate chip cookies set. Cookie pack. Okay, so they're in there. Oh, hello, Exceed. Thank you very much. So the Down Under box is at the top, uh, full of all of our favorite Australian foods. So Tim Tams, Vegemite, uh, Anzac cookies. We will be recreating Tim Tams and Anzac cookies on the stream on a Sunday. Um, we've got Minties, uh, Tiny Teddy's Milo. Just uh, like you will not regret joining and winning, I promise you. Um, if you're an Australian, it doesn't matter because you can either um, get the box sent to you um, and free food, or you can opt and we can send it to someone else on your behalf. Um, and then four other winners will go home with a uh, pack, a cookie time cookie pack full of some cookies and uh, a postcard and things like that. So we're just celebrating our 250th stream in this kitchen, uh, 250th stream and our last stream in this kitchen. I don't know, I wasn't feeling infinite anymore. I prefer Farrah and most people who saw my name called me that. Anyways, oh nice. Is your real name Leo? Am I allowed to ask that? Okay. So spray these just so I'm sure it doesn't stick. Okay. And bring, just give your mixture a nice mix. And they're about three quarters full. It's gonna make a lot of cupcakes. No, it's not. So you just chose Leo, just randomly. I like the name Leo. Okay, so in here we have some wine, some paprika. Um, we're gonna add some Dijon mustard. And then this is we're gonna pour over and it's gonna bake in this beautiful chicken. Like that. I usually would put preserved lemon in here, but then I, uh, I didn't think I'd use it. So I threw the, it was only a tiny, tiny bit left. Lewis's. I just like the name. Cool! Alright, and then squeeze your lemon juice. Whoop. In there. And then last but not least, some garlic. You need to have garlic. You can't make a herby dish without some Good old garlic. It's kind of Italian style. 
And it's just one pan, which is really, really easy, really, really great. And I promise, once this comes out of the oven, it's gonna have so much color, it's gonna look so amazing, and so much flavor in it as well. I think I might do some garlic here. Use up some of these cloves. So what's your favorite like filling or uh, flavor for a cupcake, guys? Is it chocolate? Is it like a chocolate peanut butter? What's your favorite flavor pairing? You just like the name, that's cool. So just put your garlic in here, like that. I'm just gonna squeeze that into... I don't really like cupcakes, feels bad, man. Do you like cake? Are you a savory person, Macarena? That's okay. I like chocolate peanut butter. It's probably my favorite. Um, I really do a an amazing um, sticky date cupcake with um, brown sugar buttercream or salted caramel buttercream and salted caramel inside. Filling. That's really flavorful. Uh, okay. So, that's your sauce. Your sauce. Uh, exclamation mark, my Molly Dollars, I think. Dawns, welcome back. Uh, okay. And now I'm just gonna get some basil oregano thyme. And I might add some chili flakes as well. And then they're just going to go in here as well. Oregano and thyme, I just find, goes really well with chicken. And you could also add some sage in here as well if you wanted to. And then a little bit of spice, just some chili flakes. Just a small amount. And then literally, you just got that stock with that wine in there. Like that. And then you just want to pour this over. Garlicky. It's just gonna go in all those crevices. You've got your artichoke, your mushroom in here. It's just gonna be a flavor explosion. Sitting on a bed of zucchini. And I know it doesn't look so pretty right now, but I promise. Okay, there we go. The dish is probably a little bit small. More than you thought. Nice. It's always good. It's like when you look at your bank account and like there's more in there than you think and you're like, oh. <laughs> I want to cook some, I mean, something impressive but I don't have that much time. Love it. Okay, last thing is what we're going to do. Just to protect that chicken initially, um, Oh no, you could add it. We'll add it straight into. I was gonna stop the um, artichoke from burning, but you want that really nice texture and skin on the chicken, so we'll add it straight into the oven. No. I'm gonna add this later. I'm gonna add it later, I think. Oh, I might swap them. Make the buttercream for the cupcakes. I'm just worried that we'll run out of time. Uh, I really want to redeem a theme, but I want it to be a good one to think about it more. No problem! Now I'm excited. Very excited. I love when.
when you guys have theme ideas and we can, you know, theme the kitchen, maybe dress up. We're gonna, we have a, a, um, a Fallout 4 theme and we're going to buy the Fallout cookbook. Maybe we can cook some dog meat. <laughs> joking. Joking, joking. All right. Now, buttercream. So, we're going to make a meringue. Uh, no. What we want to do is clean this out. And these cupcakes just look so good. I want to eat one. I have to quality test it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a double boiler is we want 200 grams of sugar and 200 grams of egg whites. Let me go to the recipe. Oh, I forgot to put the olives in the the chicken. Oh man! Oh! Dropping everything. Oh, okay. For that theme, I don't know if I want to eat road rad roach. Yeah. Maybe we can make some Nuka Cola. Maybe something that's like tastes good but just has a weird name. How about that? Okay, buttercream. There we go. So we're going to do some flavoured buttercream. Um, and I'm going to look at, for you guys for some advice with what kind of flavour, uh, colour combination. Should we do like multiple colours? Should we do like pastel? That's the word pastel, isn't it? That's the word? Alright, first we want 250 grams of sugar. Australian fauna is very appropriate for Fallout themed dish. I just saw some bugs that you guys... <laughs> uh, everyone thinks we have so many insects and we see them all the time and they're scary. Like... I don't remember the last time I saw where, like, I saw an actual spider, guys. There's no point getting nervous or scared or whatever because... Yeah, I barely see them. Actually, when was the last time you saw a spider? So, 250 grams of sugar, and now we want 200 grams of egg white. Okay. So, you need to make sure that you have a, a bowl for your egg yolks. I don't know, I might make some mayo actually with the. So here, and I'm gonna put the yolks in here. So I want 200 grams. The yolk. So they're about hmm, 20, 20 grams each. So there's going to be a lot in here. We'll just make some mayo. It's 100 grams. So you're looking at about six eggs. Do you have a favorite theme that you've done? Um, I really like Pokemon. Pokemon was a lot of fun with the dress up. Um, Star Wars. I probably think that I, I love Star Wars because of the dress-ups that we did um, and the th whole theming of it. I really love the ability to be able to theme the kitchen, dress up. Um, if you haven't seen our Star Wars intro, go and check it out on YouTube. Um, Friends. Friends was also really cool. Um, but main, I think 
The food that we created on Star Wars was probably one of the best. Our first Harry Potter theme as well. Guys, you got me going down memory lane. No way! Alright, so that's just gonna go in there like that. You wanna give that a stir. Like this. And we're gonna take this over to the stove. This was ages ago in our last uh, old kitchen. Sugar has been dissolved. So it's going to be on a low heat. Low heat. I'm just going to check these cupcakes. And these are going to look a bit funny because I've put them on the top shelf and it's a bit too hot for them. something about has made little pockets in here so you've got beautiful air bubbles but it's really moist I would have laughed during the whole Star Wars lecture I did I stuffed up a little bit and I made me really nervous mm. first chocolate cake ever so basically we're whipping this and mixing it into it all starts to dissolve and then we're going to whack it into our mixer and we're going to whip it until it turns into a meringue. This is a cheat way of making a Swiss meringue rather than having to make a, um, make an actual like uh, candy and then pour it into a, a, your whipped up eggs. So what you're doing is just getting between your two fingers. You want to rub it together until you feel no grains of sugar. It's easier if you buy caster sugar, but I never buy caster sugar. So that egg flip on Friends and Tree, yeah. That was our um, egg flip. So that's what we used to do for double or nothing. Um, we used to if I if I could flip it then. If I didn't flip it, then you would get molly dollars. But we just were wasting so many ingredients and then we couldn't find anything to flip. So it was just, we started basketball. There we go. Nearly there. Just warming up. You want it low, low heat. So much dirty talk. Hey Macarena, thank you so much for those bits. Coffee, that's all I had. 
sesame. So this is heating up the egg whites so that it cooks them. And then also the, the friction of the blades, the beater blades, will also keep cook the eggs. So you don't have to be worried about, oh my gosh, you know, adding the hot meringue, hot, um, hot liquid to the meringue. Takes the fuss out of it for you, but you're also having a food safe product. Okay? So I know that's a lot of stress on people's mind, but if you're buying good quality eggs, it's not in in a first world country, it's not a huge worry anymore. Because of the food standards have risen and where your eggs are produced. Um, do you take pins down if someone isn't a sub anymore? We don't, and um, we wipe it clean every every we wipe it clean every year. Um, if we move into a new map, then we'll start it clean. So it might be um, every three to four months we'll wipe it clean and start again. So then people who have sub streaks will stay up there. But it's just a representation of all the support that we receive, and we're so grateful. Um, when we move house, I'm worried that people's pins will drop off. Um, so we might start again fresh, or I have to take a photo and try and replace everyone. We'll see. We'll see how hard it is. All right, so that is done. I'm gonna go. Here, I'm gonna put it into our bowl. So much support from Crisola, definitely. Oh my gosh. From stretching far, wide, and east, and north, and south. It's crazy. See how hard it is? You're killing me, Molly. All right, we're gonna do a, a, a quick Miss Molly mix. We're gonna turn this into a meringue, uh, and then we'll, I'll unmute the mic, okay?
All right, guys. So you can see this is meringue. And what's gone out too? So you've got stiff peaks. See? Here we go. So you can see that there's stiff peaks because if I do this, I'll undo that Ooh. like this, and it stands up like that, it sticks up, then it is ready to go. So we're gonna go a tablespoon by tablespoon of butter and all together you're using about 450 grams of butter. At first it will deflate uh, and then it will start getting nice and whippy and we'll start creating our, whippy, um, our buttercream, okay? So I can mute the mic but we'll keep it on this screen so you can see. Ready, let's go. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 op. Open Gangnam Style.
All right, so you can see here that it is kind of looking like it's curdled, but if you keep whipping, it's going to amalgamate and come back together and create a really amazing buttercream, but it just takes a long process. So it's not too sweet. It's not, like it is buttery, but if you want it sweet out, just adds a little bit more. Once it's all whipped and come together, you can definitely add some, um, am I thinking, um, icing sugar to make it a bit sweeter. And that's kind of, my mum doesn't like this because it tastes really buttery. But, all right, so I'm gonna mute the mic and I'm gonna whisk this, but then I'm going to put, thank you so much for that gifting sub. For, hey Macarena, thank you for gifting to Yaksha. So Yaksha, I'm gonna put you in Finland while we whisk this, okay? So I'm gonna mute you. All right, Europe is packed. Oh my gosh, it is. How you doing, Chaos? Welcome back. How are you doing? So we are making cupcakes because it's my last day of work tomorrow before we move. Um, we fly out next Friday. We're moving back to Western Australia um, to be closer to family and focus more on streaming. So, new kitchen setup. Faro! Miss Molly Max is making chocolate cupcakes. Thank you very much for that tweet. You guys at home as well can hashtag Miss Molly Makes in a tweet and it'll come up on the screen. All right, so you can see this, that it has come together and it's a really beautiful, luxurious buttercream. So this is called Swiss Meringue Buttercream. And we're gonna color it. So I thought, what colors do you reckon go well together? Or we're gonna do like a swirl pattern. What do you think? Maybe three colors, two or three colors. What do you think? Will the chi um, time zones change? Maybe that's a lot of finger licking. Sorry, Xib. Thank you very much. Um, what colors do you reckon? The time zones will probably change. Um, we're not sure. Maybe two hours later. I'm not sure. The time zone from now is two hours back home, but. All right, what colors, guys? Exceed. what do you think? What color? And while we were whipping, because we were whipping for a bloody long time, I took the other cupcakes out. So we've got 24 in total, or 23, because I ate one. Nice, that chicken is cooking nicely. We're going to whip it up the temperature and make it from the top go really crispy all different colors. So I thought we'd do like, yeah, we could do all different colors. I can do three flapping bags. That's
do three different colors, separate colors, or I thought we could do like a swirl of like rainbow. What do you, what, what's in rainbow? So would you do red, red, blue, and yellow? Did that make a rainbow? Because red and blue make purple. Blue and yellow make orange. No, blue and uh, red and yellow make orange. Blue and yellow make green. Is that right? So we do red, blue, and yellow. Are uh, you red, blue, and yellow? Yeah, red, blue, and yellow. Does that make? Well, that look pretty shitty though. What do you think? Purple is cute. Yeah, I like purple. So we're doing. I'm just gonna put. A little bit of icing sugar in this. So I'm gonna mute the mic just for a little second. Okay. Alright, so I think we do red, blue, and yellow, and then we'll swirl them together. So it's either going to re look really cool, or it's not going to work. We've done red and, red and blue together and white, and that looked pretty cool. I don't know about the yellow, but... So, I just want to wipe these clean, the beaters. And I've got three bowls here. They might not be big enough. Hey Chester. I forget art class. <laughs> Chaos, you should have paid attention in art class. Tut, tut, tut. Okay. All right, everybody. So, wipe the ball, the sides. So in here. One, two, there we go. I know. Okay, I think, I think that looks good. What do you think? Maybe there's not too much in here. hard not to lick my fingers. It tastes so good. Alright, so 
We're going to do blue in here. And then blue, red. So this is a bit of crimson. And then yellow. Add some red in there as well. So these colors will get darker um, as in time. So uh, tomorrow they'll be a lot darker and brighter than when we initially make them because a lot of people freak out. And something that I've found over time is the colors deepen, um, they just need time. So I always used to add like barrels and barrels of food coloring. When I didn't need to. So these here, what I'm using is called the Colorite system by Wilton. Um, and it's an amazing um, high concentrated food coloring, gel food coloring. weaved a small blanket out of yarn in our class. I haven't really um, messed with food coloring. Does it change the taste? It doesn't. Um, if you use natural food coloring like beetroot, extract, turmeric, things like that, it will add a flavor. Where these are artificial um, and they won't add a flavor. You can add some flavoring to this as well if you wanted to. Some vanilla beans. You've reminded me. So blue, red, and yellow. So just to join it outside. Some colorful sprinkles on the top as well which will look really good oh my arms are really sore like that. We're going to put our piping bag like this. Alrighty. Alrighty tatty. So on one side we're going to do red and 
push it to one side like that doesn't matter you'll get like a, a different swirl with each one but just want to kind of push it down and that's a great thing each cupcake will look different and have a different effect which I love Okay, scrape your bowl so what I've done is just with my spoon you just pushed it down a little bit like that cool and you want to go with blue I have a headache oh no I was complaining about a headache before. Use your spoon and just push it like that down. And I think I have a feeling that the yellow is going to be overtaken by the other brighter colors, but as long as it's in there, I think it will give a nice effect. I was going to make one big cake, but then it, when you go to work, it's really hard to cut people portions. Some people take bigger pieces and it just gets messy. So I thought, just give people their own individual cupcake and it's just so much nicer. Um, I should have kept a spoon, but it's okay. All right, now rotate like this. And now we're going to get the yellow using my spoon. Even like just in this short amount of time, the yellow definitely out of all of them has increased its color. Okay. So scoop and then push. It's harder to get this one. Maybe move the blue over a little bit. Third one's always the hardest to get in. And just push it in there, impact it a little bit. Scrape it along the edges. It's gonna look so cool. cupcakes to ice so, and then we'll give them a nice swirl pattern. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Alright. Now we've got that done. We want to bring over our cupcakes. This, you want to make sure that they're nice and cool. These ones might be a little bit warm. But we can definitely ice the other ones. Reminds me of colourful popcorn. Does remind me of like a, um, a clown or like, you know, a, a fair. Okay. So we'll definitely just put those ones aside. And I think we'll just fill some with maybe some chocolate ganache and some peanut butter. What do you think? So this here, you just work its way up, pull it out, and you'll be able to hold here and twist this and then just push everything down and you can see it's all kind of even like that. so all come out one color usually and then where's the yellow what no yellow Cupcakes. I'm gonna make a really quick ganache. 
So in here, I'm just gonna get some chocolate, a little bit of cream and put it in the microwave. chocolate you're just trying to create a ganache so then we're gonna hop take hold out some of the middle and then fill with this caught the creating of the chicken artichoke ah sorry ghost mink I'm gonna tell you what's in there in a minute so I used a bit of a small vessel I just want to gently stir you could use dark chocolate white chocolate this is milk Big Mike Blue Sky! Sky Blue! Sky Blue! I apologize. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing really well. Welcome to Smelly Makes. Thanks, Exceed. So, this is your chocolate ganache. Look at that. Really, really silky and smooth. There's just a few chop drips, drops, chop drips, chop drops in there that need to be melted. There we go. All right, so what you can do is get out a little um, star tip. Um, let me find a star tip. So usually I just get something like this. So let's remove maybe the blues and the greens. Like that. And then blue and green over here. Oh, it's not. More chocolate and then these ones can be peanut butter, okay? Or oh, blues, greens and purples maybe. Two, four, six. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, that's right. We'll just do mainly chocolate. Who cares? And then we'll leave these ones with peanut butter. Okay? So I'm just getting a uh, tip like this or just a circular bottom. And you just place it in here like this. Or they just hold them out. Or the easiest thing. I just use a spoon. You don't need to be fancy. Just all out the middle like this. And we're just gonna drop some of this ganache in the middle. You just add some extra flavor level rather than just your simple, plain buttercream. You can add an extra dimension. So in the past I've done salted caramel, 
Um, salted caramel goes really well with like a sticky date pudding cupcake. Um, what else? Peanut butter is really good with these. It's probably my go-to, my fave. Name Chef, how you doing? Hey, Name Chef, thank you very much for that sub. Very much appreciated, all your support. Good you, are we doing really well? Uh, so as a sub, you receive all of the recipes made on stream. So make sure your Twitch is uh, linked with your Discord and join our Discord because the sub only section will uh, come up. Um, also, you get 500 molly dollars, which is our in-stream currency. Um, and <coughs> sorry, uh, so that can get you started from redeeming things uh, like ingredients for us to cook with, all the way to um, choosing a whole theme for our stream. Uh, you get your knife and fork, which is our um, base uh, sub batch, and then you go from knife and fork to then your salad to your roast chicken, and then lastly would be your uh, cake. Uh, you also get your mmm emote, your Miss Molly makes emote. And last but not least, you get your pin in Mollytopia. So this is our sub world map. Um, uh, visual representation, visual representation of our subs and all the support that we've received. Um, so we wiped the board clean um, in April for our year. Um, it's a year of streaming on Twitch. So, Name Chef, where are you in the world? Thank you so much for that sub. All right. While you answer, I'm just gonna hollow out these. They're, they're like donut holes, or but just so much better. I didn't get all this treat. Hey. So it's something we've been doing for a while. You're in New York. Lovely. All right. I'm going to give you a green pin. Green pin. I'm going to pop you up here. New York. That's right. Thank you so much for that sub. Welcome back to the Molly family. There's your pin. You always know where you're at in Mollytopia. Okay, back to these. My oven is really hot and it's making me hot. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I think it can come out now. I just wanted to give it a little bit of colour. You are way south. It's just because the other one is a little bit in the way. The one in Boston. Okay. Maybe it's not Boston. Maybe it's not. Alright. Oh, let's sit there. There's our chicken and artichoke bake. Come out of the oven. All right, let's let's move you. Uh, pressing the wrong button. Okay. Why are you sell? Because it's pointing in there. There you go. It kind of points in there. That's where the pin lands. Okay. So. Wait for our artichoke bag to cool. I'm gonna put some chocolate in here. Just a really simple chocolate ganache. So when you bite into these, they're just gonna be a hit of melted chocolate. And then we're gonna put our buttercream over top. The white pin? There's no white pin. It's all good. All right. I need to put this in a piping bag, maybe. There we go. So you can fill it with anything. You don't have to fill it at all, even. You just put your buttercream on top. But I just think it just adds something a little bit special. Um. I thought about doing something with like a like a cherry liqueur, um, or like a, a jam, a jelly. So did you go to culinary school? I did. Uh, I my brother is a chef, 
but it's just self-taught. I like to experiment and try new things. You think that you can build confidence, like the most important thing that's for me is building confidence and showing others that, you know, you can get in the kitchen and just try new things, get recipes, make them your own. And the thing is, is that you can, as long as something tastes good to you, then that's all that matters. If your taste buds, it might be different to the person next to you and they might not like it, but if you do, then that's all that matters, friends. And, you know, if you're following a recipe and you wanna go off on a little bit of a tangent, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you just learn, you get better, and you grow. That's my motto, yeah. Have you asked me before that I, if I was went to culinary school, or just did I tell you my motto? Look at this. Sometimes my food looks pretty, but all majority of the time it tastes damn delicious. So that's all that matters. I used to get really self-conscious about what I made on stream, and I always wanted it to be perfect. But the thing is, is that that's not real. And we make mistakes. The other day I dropped my pie, it came out of the oven, the oven uh, shelf broke and my pie went on the floor and I sat there and, you know, I cried. Because I was so worried and I, like I was so excited about this pie and then it broke and like I just screwed it up. But then I like I fixed it in the end and it turned out to be an amazing chocolate pecan pie. So I thought to myself, I could stop here and turn the stream off, or I can pick myself up, make it better, fix it, and then it just makes, I think it just, you know, you're more real and you're, you've got to be authentic and got to own your mistakes. All right. So what are your favorite feelings, Name Chef? What's your favorite flavor combination? I was just saying that I like chocolate peanut butter. I'm not a huge peanut butter person, but I do like it with these cupcakes. This is my go-to chocolate recipe, uh, chocolate cake recipe, sorry. All right, so these ones have got the ganache. We can add a little bit more because I made a little bit too much. And then um, my peanut butter is here. Yeah, your favorite flavor combination. There we go. And so this, the, the peanut butter won't sink in as much as the ganache. The ganache will kind of be absorbed into some of the, the cake. Whereas this is kind of gonna sit on the top. My favorite combination is yes. Okay then. Here we go. I'm gonna do the chocolate ones with peanut butter as well. The purple ones. Just a little bit. Just because I feel like there's not many. God, it doesn't look like 23 cupcakes, does it? There we go. Okay, so now we've got our meringue buttercream. And so the this peanut butter that I buy has no sugar in it, it's just peanuts. So then the sweetness of this buttercream really, really adds a really nice flavor because this is like, Peanut butter! Okay, this piping nozzle is a little bit smaller than I'm used to. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the yellow is coming through. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> the bag is really hard to hold on to. My small hands. Okay. So you want to do a in the middle like this, and then you want to run it around, and then up. That beautiful color combination. And then what you also can do is just hold it down like this. So it kind of does a different effect. Go like this. Move out of the way. I'm gonna do some simple flowers. Like that! Look how cute they look! Peanut make peanut butter makes everything better. And then we're gonna put some beautiful sprinkles on these as well. Party hat type style. I like that one. This one here or this one here? I like the color combination, guys. We did good. You can see that, like I said before, the, the color's gonna bleed and then you'll get the green and then the purple coming through as well. And if you wanted to use different tips as well, the nozzles, swoop, then you'll get a different effect. So which one do we like better? One, two, or three? So one, two, or three? This one. I think it looks really cool. Hard to pick. <laughs> oh, that one didn't really do well. Three. So three is this one? <laughs> is that one I said? This one here? No, I forget. We'll vote in a minute. So these are all going to work tomorrow. For my last day of work. going two so you like that's this one this one like the ruffles so we've got the flowers the ruffles and the swirl let's just do it like that so the the uh the swirl the ruffles this one here's ruffles or the flowers what do you think's the best everybody oh chest is outside Oops. I left my dog outside. So 
These ones I'm gonna try and like swirl and then do a ruffle on the top. It's a lot of icing. <laughs> wow, I still have a little bit of icing left. Flowers, you reckon flowers look cute? I feel like I should have done more flowers. Maybe we can make one of these. We've got like some extra icing. Alright, I gotta go and let the dog in. Give me two seconds. Which one was I doing? I was doing something to somewhere, but now I don't I don't can't see where I was working. So it's just so easy to use different colours and have different effects. Three colors. I see a bit of purple. Yeah. All right, I think I might. Let's make these a little bit more decorative. And I've got all this icing that I need to use up. So I'm just gonna pipe some more. Little flowers. Just wants a treat now. He was scratching on the door because he wanted to come in. Now he's scratching at his drawer that has all the treats in it. Okay. I'm really, I think, I think out of all of, oh, I think this one's the prettiest. Oh, don't break it, don't drop it. I love that effect. AK okay, Stage Chaser, last day of work is confuzzled. We're moving, AK. Okay. We're moving house. So we're moving back to our home state, so we can be closer to family. Spin. And we're gonna focus more on streaming. What do you reckon? You reckon we're good? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh. Two, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three. There is twenty-three. Mr. Maniac, we're, um, I'm, it's my last day of work tomorrow before um, we move states next week. So just making them for my work. Oh, that's what I can do. I can just put icing on this. And there's some chocolate left over as well. All right, we've got ice, some sprinkles. We've got blue sprinkles. We've got some red sprinkles. Colorful hundreds and thousands. We've got, I thought we could do some silver bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. We don't wanna go overboard. I don't think we go overboard with the sprinkles, guys. Maybe a few of these silver kachol, kush, I don't know, I've ever had to pronounce them. They're just some These look so cute. I like the flower ones, I think. I feel like you have to put them in these little holes where you pipe so then they can look like the edge of the... This is where I get lazy because then I get like, I'm over it. I'm over it, chat. Um, now we'll just get a bit of blue. Are you moving back west? Then we are. I'm confused. Oh, sorry. Uh, 
um, we, we're moving back. We fly next next Friday. And the, the puppies go this time next week. So they're gonna go a few days earlier than us. Um, do you think we should do any more? Maybe a few hundreds and thousands. How do you make scrambled eggs? Seems like something I would experiment with versus the cupcakes. Um, we are, I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs on the weekend, so make sure you, um, our weekend stream time is a little bit earlier. We're gonna make um, buttermilk waffles this weekend, and I might make some scrambled eggs, so we can go through our scrambled egg. I, I make them a little bit differently, but I think they always come out perfectly. Here we go. <laughs> I can't be um, without my dogs for too long. I'd rather be dead. Um, our dogs, we, we are, like, we do worry, but they're staying with our family that we know that we can trust, so they'll be okay. This is just some edible glitter. There we go. I think that's fine. They look amazing. Thank you very much. So, look, you can see the purple coming through, guys. So we've got green. It, we, uh, we started with yellow, red, and uh, blue. And then with these ones, you can definitely see the purple coming through. And then if I rotate them, you can see the green as well. All right. So, let me just clean up here and take some of this mess away. See, where do we put the cupcake carrier? Cupcake carrier? Alright, we're back in two seconds, guys. Gosh, maybe I've stuffed them too much. Have a taste. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. They just look so pretty. But there's this thing that my auntie gifted me. So you literally, it's Tupperware and you stack them in here. But I'm not sure that they'll fit because I think they may have too much. Or are they going to fit? Maybe I might stuff them a little bit too big. Okay, see, I'll find the ones that I want to take a photo of. Put the big ones on one tray, the really tall ones, and then the squattier ones on another tray. Shorty. Oops. Oh my god, it's. Oh my god. It... No one noticed. Oh my god. They probably think that that's just us now, Xene. <gasps> oh no, cock it down. No, it's not too. It's not too bad. Okay, short, okay, tall ones are going in here, short ones are going in there. Short. That one looks a tall one. Short, maybe. That one's a tall one. Doesn't matter if they get too damaged, as long as the, the, the top ones look pretty. That's all I care about. Because the top will fit two, four, three, six, 
12, and then there's 23 at the bottom. So just get the prettier ones and put them on the top here. So put them there. Them. Ooh, just, I don't know how. Eat it. I can't eat it. I can't. Must have been playing on the mainstream when Molly switched it. Eee, Molly's fault. Damn you, Molly. Okay. I'm gonna have to leave some to take photos of. I need like a... Like that one? Yeah. Is that a ruffle? Yeah. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And the rest can go there. Oh! 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 Oops. I'm just dropping everything. Check it out! Check it out, check it out! There's so much mess in here. Um, I'm going to find my... What are you two doing? The dogs are... Ah! They're just fighting behind the green screen. Clean up this. So this is what we made today. Everybody, I better not push that too far over the edge or I will definitely, definitely cry on again. Put all the sprinkles everywhere. We have a house inspection, house open tomorrow. So the house is gonna be clean, spotless and tidy. Okay. So we've got our cupcakes and chicken and artichoke bake look at that oh my gosh so in here let's get a little bit closer so here we have the chicken chicken thigh that has been marinated with some artichokes Beautiful artichokes, some mushrooms under there. There's zucchini, garlic in like a white wine sauce. We're going to catch the final products. Hey, Strip, welcome back. Um, and then we'll just bake that in the oven. It's got a lot of caramelization, a lot of flavor. Artichoke really works well with the chicken. And then you've got thyme, basil, oregano in there. A little bit of white wine, a bit of sweetness. Um, and then that beautiful broth. And underneath there, you've also got zucchini as well. So we'll be pairing well with something like a, a rice, um, like you could do like a flavored rice or a simple rice, some couscous, polenta would be really good in there as well. Um, or you could just eat it by itself with some vegetables and pasta, like a, um, just pasta and then like fold this creamy sauce through it as well, it would be really delicious. Um, but I think I'm going to get a fork, kind of taste this. This artichoke. Mmm. Let's take a bit of this chicken off. I still wanted to splash my. Um. I don't want to splash any of these ooh, cupcakes. Oh, look at that zucchini. Looks like a pickle. Mmm. Oregano, oregano, however you want to say it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. No cows hurt in this process. We're making chicken. And we've got cupcakes, my friend. Ned V, how you doing? Welcome to Smelly Makes. Alright. Look at 
for these beautiful, beautiful cupcakes. So, let's vote. Do you like this one here? The, what do we call it? The ruffles? The swirl? Or, oh, you can't see them. So you've got the ruffles back here, the flowers, or the swirl. What do you guys prefer? What do you think? Swirl, flowers, or ruffles? I think swirl, goes means like the swirl. I, I like the ruffles, but my favorite I think tonight is the flowers. Mm, it's something different I've never tried before. I think they're really colorful and really pretty. And then, so in the filling you have some ganache, so chocolate ganache. And then the, oh God, now I forgot which ones they are guys. Is it the green and the yellow have um, peanut butter? I'm sticking with the flower, I'm committed. I just wanted to use a swirl and mode. Ah, ruffles and flowers, yeah, I think they're cute. And our beautiful chicken as well. Alright guys, next time on, we have no stream tomorrow because we have to go and drop our car. We're shipping our car back to Western Australia, other side of the, um, the continent. So um, we'll be back on Thursday. After we ship our car, I'm going to go eat ramen, so make sure it's my favorite food ever. Uh, so make sure you join our Instagram and you follow our um, socials because you'll see a lot of photos of... Um, of ramen. Make sure you join our giveaway as well that is being drawn this weekend. Uh, so there's five winners. We're doing five prizes. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday in one day and 21 hours. Uh, we're making keto pad thai. Friday evenings with Exceed is our gaming stream. Saturday we're going to make some waffles and also some rosemary crusted chicken. And then Sunday we're recreating some Australian food items. So we're making some Tim Tams, some Anzac biscuits and a lamb shoulder. Uh, and then we're doing our giveaway. It's gonna be the last cooking stream in this kitchen on Sunday. So make sure you guys are following the channel, you're notified when we're live, and you've joined the, dis uh, the giveaway because I promise you, you will not regret it. I promise. All right, guys? Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for all the love, the bits. We're gonna jump over and we're gonna host Captain Kiki. Uh, she is a uh, Australian streamer. Uh, let's jump over and say hello. We appreciate if you, our community can say hello to her community. If you stay around and just say hi, hit, uh, if she's love, if you like her content, hit that follow button as well. So thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Are the burgers better at Hungry Jacks? No, they're not. They're definitely not.